Hey grade 11s, welcome back. I wanted to, hopefully the, the graphics went okay for you guys. I wanted to show you how to add pictures to your project next. So I'm going to start a new project and click SFML project there, hit go. Um, this one was under first day, I'll create another project. I don't know, I'll call it uh, Sprite or Sprites, I guess. We're going to learn what a sprite is. The sprite is just a picture you can add to your project. You've probably heard the word before in grade 10. We use a lot of sprites when we're using um, Scratch. Also in Turing as well. So there's our pro, there's our, our starting program there. Little green circle, right? So I'm going to get rid of the, all the stuff that has to do with that green circle, which is here as well. I'm just going to comment out that one. And I'm going to load a picture into the memory of my computer. And to do that, I'm going to use this uh, object type called texture. So I'll just give it a name like T1. And here is how you can see what you can do with a texture object or variable type. If you hit T1 and hit dot, you can see all the stuff you can do with it. A lot of this stuff is not going to be useful to us. There's some great explanations here. The SFML library has been, you know, very well documented, very nicely coded for us. Um, but I'm going to use this command called load from file. Um, and what it does is it says it takes in a string uh, with the with the name file name, so that's easy enough. And then it takes this indirect thing, which I don't really need because it has some default indirect equals thing. So if I go like this and give it a file name, then it should load that from memory. So in the Google Classroom, I sent you a picture of a duck. I've just saved mine here to my desktop called duck. I'm going to copy that picture um, and paste it in the folder where my project is. So where did I save these projects? That's a good question. Uh, first day there's my sprites one there um, and I'm gonna paste the duck picture there okay there's the one I found online it's a PNG which is good because PNG types will um, make the background transparent which isn't important for us on a white background but if uh, we went to use like a, an image for our background then if it were to draw this duck it would draw the whole uh, white block as well. Uh, but PNGs, um, I think this one has a transparent background, so it'll blend in nicely. JPEGs don't do that, and neither do GIFs, as far as I know, in um, SFML. So the name of my file is duck.png. Now, this is going to work only because the duck image is next to my like sprites file and my main file. It's in the same folder. If it's not, it won't open that file. Like if I say duck1 here and hit run, give it like the wrong name, it says failed to load duck1, okay? It couldn't open the file, couldn't find it. It only looks in the folder of your project. So now I run it, I don't get an error. So that's good. I now have a, uh, that duck is saved into memory. So how do I draw it to the screen? Um, I have to go like this. I have to write the word sprite and then I can give it the name, whatever I want. I'll call it duck. Okay. And if I write the word duck and say, there's all kinds of stuff that you could do with sprites. It's a lot like a, uh, a circle shape or a square shape. It's got a lot of the same, like get origin, set origin, get rotation, get scale, move. Um, it does a lot of that stuff. Um, the only difference is, um, well, there's really not much difference at all. The sprite is just the actual picture that you have. So I'm going to set the texture. It's looking for a texture object. And it also says bool reset rect equals false. I don't need to write that. Remember, if there's an equal sign there, if you don't write it, it'll let it equal false. I don't even know what this does. I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to write T1 there. Run that. Hopefully now I have this sprite object that has the duck's picture on it. And then if I want to go here and say window.draw, I just write the word duck and it should draw my sprite on the screen. There he is. Okay. 
and actually my background was black so it's good that I used a PNG in this case because um, I wouldn't want um, this white outline around the duck if I let's say I want to move them or something right let's say I go um, duck dot move one comma zero there now he's moving around so you can see like this is kind of the way you would make a game or a project where you had some graphics not just shapes you might want to sprite in there right so that's all there is for lab um, lab number 12 I believe which I just posted here's a cool thing you can do too you don't really need to do it but it says um, if I go t1.load texture again just get it to auto type t1.load from file do you see how there's this word bool here that means that this thing returns a true or false so if I just call it like this it won't do anything it won't um, obviously it gives me an error if I get the wrong picture or whatever but um, I could actually see out this to see if it opened it it's nice that it defaults a little error message so I don't really even need to do that but if I run this see how it see outs one which means true and um, if I spell duck wrong, it will see out zero, which means false. It didn't open it. But by default, it also gives me an error message anyways. But it's just nice to know that uh, you can see out a lot of these functions as, as opposed to just actually writing the command on the screen. Okay, so there you go. We'll learn how to animate some ducks this week as well. Stay tuned for that. Try Lab 12, see how it goes. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or you need me to show you how to do anything. I, I can make these videos, no problem. It doesn't take long, okay? So we'll talk soon. See you.